As a woman gets older, the number of eggs that she has begins to decrease because the higher her age, the lower the number of eggs she has or the ovarian reserve. Hi everyone, my name is Akitin de Gwemisola and I'm your fertility nurse and today we're going to be discussing about the ovarian reserve. How many eggs do you have left and do you still have eggs left at this age? Welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the ovarian reserve, the number of eggs left. So let's begin with the ovary, you know, because we thought about the ovary being the organ that produces the eggs in a fluid filled sac called the follicle. Because the reproductive organ of the woman, we talked about the uterus, the fallopian tube and the ovary and the ovary is one of the most important organ because it produces the egg that is being used at birth a child a female child has over one million number of immature eggs that she has naturally that is all she has and at puberty she has just three hundred thousand left because at this point a lot of processes has happened before she gets to puberty and getting to puberty and she has 300 left and you imagine her having to shed off endometrium every month because she's not getting pregnant every month she keeps bleeding releasing eggs and for the eggs growing in the ovary for those follicles that are growing the ovaries recruit a number of follicles every month not just one if it was just one everybody would have enough but because the ovary recruits almost all that is in the ovary that month but it is just one that gets to the mature stage it is just one that gets to the maturity stage and so what happens to the remaining that doesn't get to the maturity stage they degenerate so that means a bulk of them leaves the body system at that point reducing the number of eggs that will be left in the reserve and that what brings us to ovarian reserve so ovarian reserve can be defined as the number of eggs that is left with each woman at that particular time that she's trying to conceive what number of eggs does she have left what is the remaining quantity that she has left okay now let's go to what exactly can cause a decrease in this ovarian reserve d o r decrease ovarian reserve number one major factor is age yes age because as you get older and you begin to release eggs every month the reserve it's like a quantity that you have it begins to reduce and so taking from the age of 30 35 40 45 in fact within 40 years of age the rate at which the ovarian reserve goes down is actually a very high speed within a very high speed even a lot of people even within the age of 22 23 the ovarian reserve is always low you know because there was a time we spoke about that every woman is unique the way some people are very airy is the same way some people have scanty hair on their hair the way some people are black is the same some people are white and some people are yellowish in color so every woman is peculiar every woman is peculiar in their own journey in fertility yes every woman is so peculiar very peculiar ovarian lesions can also cause decreased ovarian reserve and also surgery prior surgery to the ovary can also cause decrease ovarian reserve so can we say because a woman has low ovarian reserve does that mean the person cannot get pregnant it is no a woman can get pregnant even with low ovarian reserve it's just that some people find it very very difficult because the number of ovarian follicles the number of eggs left varies so you might not know how many left that might actually prompt the person to either get pregnant fast or finding it difficult to get pregnant but still it does not stop a woman from getting pregnant how then do we test for decreased ovarian reserve according to asrm american society of reproductive medicine it is advised to do the hormone blood test so in this hormone blood test what are we actually checking for we are checking for the 
follicle stimulating hormone that is the FSH and also the estradiol oil and the anti mullerian hormone. So let's take the FSH. So in the pituitary gland, the FSH is being released from the pituitary gland, yes. So the FSH actually makes what the function of the FSH, the follicle stimulating hormone, is to ensure that the follicles that contains egg grow. Follicle. So that follicle is like a cyst, like a small pouch that contains the egg. So at the beginning of the cycle, this test is actually done at the beginning of the cycle within the first day of the menstruation to so the fifth day of the menstruation because it is expected that the follicle stimulating hormone at this point is low. It is expected that yes, because at that point there is no follicle that is going to be releasing egg because it is just, you're just menstruating. So it's expected that it is very low because when the pituitary gland stimulates the FSH, so if the FSH stimulates that follicle that is in the ovary, thereby ensuring that this follicles begins to grow, they mature, then the eggs mature and they are released, whereby before fertilization takes place, implantation and all. But a situation whereby it is being tested and they discover that follicle stimulating hormone is high, even between the day one and the five of the menstrual cycle. This is a significant that there is a decreased ovarian reserve. The number two that we're going to be looking at is the anti-mullerian hormone. AMH, the anti-mullerian hormone is an early reliable predictor of low ovarian reserve, or maybe there is a normal or moderate ovarian reserve. And it can actually be done at any time of the month. It can be done at any time of the month. And a low ovarian reserve means that the AMH is low. So if you do the test and the AMH result comes that it is low, that means this ovarian reserve is low and it can actually cause a poor response even to drugs. Yes, it can even cause poor response to drugs and low chances of being able to get pregnant. Another thing we're going to be looking at is the antra follicular count. It's also one of the ways where we can actually diagnose or know if a woman still has enough follicular count. So the antra follicular count is actually done through a scan. So going to the hospital, you go for a test, you go for a scan and you're being scanned. And this scan is just to see the ovaries. Yes, they see the ovary through a trans transvaginal scan or an abdominal scan to see the ovaries and know, okay, here they begin to count the number of follicles. You know, we said the follicles is the small pouch, that small cyst that contains the egg that is being released every month. So counting the number of follicles that are there, the small, small pouch in this ovary is actually equivalent to the number of eggs left. So imagine we count the first ovary and we have like 15 and the second ovary, we have like 10. Probably this person has a good number of follicle account. And if we count the number of follicles in the right and we're just seeing like four and on the right left, we are seeing like two. That makes six and that is a low ovarian reserve. You know, we said it at the point that even when the body is releasing the FSH, and the FSH is ensuring that these follicles are growing. It is still not all the follicles that would respond so fast. It is still that one. And you don't know, even out of the six, what are the chances that all the six that would respond, that one will even get to maturity? You understand? So the chances of getting pregnant with low ovarian reserve is actually very, very low. If this video has actually added some values to you since we started, I just wanted to please click the like button you subscribe and share let the people know tell somebody about it experience and research has actually shown us that a lot of factors can actually cause low ovarian reserve apart from age habits smoking alcohol a lot of things that we do in our environment can actually cause low ovarian reserve and that is why sometimes you discover a 23 year old lady already having a low ovarian reserve sometimes it's genetic and sometimes hormone problem can actually come in. A lot of factors can come into it. And that is why it is easy and it is better to actually get help fast. Talk to somebody fast. 
go for a test the earlier the better so you can know the solution know what exactly you want to do about the low ovarian reserve so that you also can actually have your baby which is my main goal on this channel thank you for watching